Now is the time to become educated God's way in regard to disease, its causes, prevention and cure in just eight simple steps. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Join us for a new start every Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. on WOKB 1680 for Eight Steps to Health. Brought to you by Saved to Serve Ministry. Good morning, Orlando, and welcome to Eight Steps to Health, brought to you by Save to Serve Ministries. I'm your host, Dwayne Powell. And your co-host, Hope Powell. And we are very excited to be back. And today we're joined in the studios, as usual, with some of our team members from Save to Serve Ministries. They're health missionaries who travel around the country teaching health principles from the Bible. So welcome, Richard, Jared, and Lauren. Thank you. Greetings. Be back. Yes. And every week on Eight Steps to Health, we are sharing from God's Word, which is our health manual, the acronym of New Start. Very quickly, what is New Start? N stands for nutrition, E stands for exercise, W stands for water, S for sunlight, T for temperance, A for air, R for S, and the last T for trust in God. And for our listeners and even the new ones today, every week we have a custom of singing the New Start theme song. Mm -hmm. Sing along with us. Nutrition, nutrition, exercise, exercise, water, water, sunlight, sunlight, temperance, temperance, air and rest, air and rest, trust in God. Nutrition, nutrition, exercise, exercise, water, water, sunlight, sunlight, temperance, temperance, air and rest, air and rest, trust in God, trust in God, trust in God. And trusting God is the foundation of these health principles and the number one prevention for stress. So if you missed any of our previous broadcasts, please visit our website at 8stepstohealth.com. That's the number eight, um, the number two steps.com. So we want to reiterate the theme for our show, which is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And everyone, what is our objective every week we come together? To, to become, become intelligent, intelligent in, in regards regard to, to disease, disease, its causes, prevention, and, and cure. cure. And we are continuing our series on the understanding of the body organs and how they relate to these eight laws of health. And Dr. Ayer is in the building today because we are talking about the, the lungs. lungs. The lungs. And the lungs are a major part of the respiratory system. And also, um, it works closely with the circulatory system. The lungs are located between the spine and the back and the chest bone and ribs in the front. That's just to get the location of the lungs because, mm -hmm. you know, you have them. You may not know where they're located, but that's where they're located. And everyone, well, not everyone have two lungs, but some people have one lung. And we're going to talk about that later in the show. But everyone has two lungs. Um, each lung weighs about a pound each. So now that we know the location of the lungs, let's talk about the purpose. Well, the purpose of the lungs is to simply supply oxygen to the body and release the carbon dioxide um, which, of course, is the waste gas. Mm -hmm. So, again, it is to supply the body with it, the needed oxygen and to release the carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. The process of exchange is done in the alveoli, which is the very thin air sacs of the lungs. They're mm -hmm. located in the lungs. And also, it's important to note that the lungs, unlike the heart, mu heart have no muscles. Mm -hmm. It's not a muscle. So, therefore, the muscles around the chest cavity do most of the heavy lifting. So, again, the lungs is simply our filter for oxygen. And I have to say, because we learned that the lungs have no muscles, that means we have to be exercising to keep the body healthy enough exactly. to help right. the lungs to do right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. And we want to talk about, we, as we did our research, we found some interesting facts. So we want to talk about mm -hmm. some facts about the lungs. Mm. So we're just going to go through about four facts interesting that we found about the lungs. The first one is that the lungs hold three quarts of air, which is equivalent to three liters. So you're wow. talking about the two liters bottles of soda a lot of people drink mm -hmm. and an extra half. So can people really drink that much? But that's how much our lungs sink in. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It holds a lot of air. They also, the lungs, they discharge 30 quarts of carbonic acid per hour through the breath. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of air. That's a lot. Yeah. Now, notice this fact. Five quarts of blood pass through the lungs every minute. Wow. That's a mm -hmm. lot of blood. Every single minute. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and also the average adult lungs inhale and exhale about 20,000 times a day. Wow. So our lungs are very important. Very, very important. important. And it's important to, you know, the air, the quality of air and what we're breathing in. Um, and we're going to get into that in the show as well. And because we're talking about the lungs, again, Dr. Air is in the office. And the air we breathe plays a big role in the health of our lungs, important. the type of air. You know, we have to get outside and get the fresh air, not That's trapped right. in the house That's all right. day with the windows closed. Window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and if we're not breathing in the pure air, there are a lot of lung-related diseases mm -hmm. that we can get, such as bronchitis, mm -hmm. asthma, whooping cough, lung wow. cancer, pneumonia, tuberculosis, and that's just a few to name. There's many more, and it's simply because of impure air and impure blood, because as Jared said earlier, there's five quarts of blood that pass through the lungs every minute. Mm -hmm. And as we look at the Bible, you know, it tells us um, the reason why there's so many diseases, especially in this area of the lungs, because in John 10 and verse 10, it says that the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Then Jesus says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. So let's put this in context. The thief in this context is talking about the devil. Right. His purpose is to steal, to kill, and to destroy our lives. Mm -hmm. So right. in the context of the lungs, how is or what medium is the devil using to kill us? Smoking. 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 This is one avenue which leads to many lung diseases and we just want to be clear that we know that many of our listeners know a lot of these facts we're going to share today and that's fine but we're just laying the foundation for the future shows that are coming up over the next few weeks and you don't want to miss it because we're going to talk about practical ways natural ways to stop smoking to quit, yes. smoking. All right. to quit smoking that's right and you definitely don't want to miss that but let's talk more about the importance of pure air because many people are not getting the adequate mm -hmm. amount of pure air in the body that the body really needs. And we have had Dr. Air in the studio several times, but we want to stress the importance of getting fresh air circulating in the body as it relates to the lungs. Mm -hmm. And as we did our research, we found that millions of people are addicted to smoking. Mm. So who smokes? But before we talk about who smokes, you okay. just said that it's very important to get fresh air. Right. And you know, and at nighttime, we've learned to crack, crack the, the window, window. Yes. you know, to get that. And we sleep better. Mm -hmm. And we're not having, you know, breathing issues. So it's very important to get that air right. as often as it's possible. Essential. It's essential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who smokes? So as we were doing our research, mm -hmm. we came across one article from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and they said each day more than 3,200 people under the age of 18 smoke their first cigarette. Wow. And approximately 2,100 youth and young adults become daily smokers. So that wow. number, 3,200 people, that's every day they take every their day. first cigarette. And when you think about it, Cigarettes aren't even legal to the age of 18. Exactly. Even the young people. So yeah, exactly. Children, so how teenagers. are but they? Yeah, it's, it's easily accessible. You mm -hmm. know, you can go to any convenient, well, not any convenience store, but mostly those in urban areas. And you can mm -hmm. even buy a single cigarette for right. like, I think it's a quarter or 50 cent wow. or something like that. And yeah. they don't ask your age. They don't ask that age. They're right. just targeting mm -hmm. them for the money. Mm -hmm. right. Another fact that was brought out was that nine out of 10 smokers start before the age of 18 mm -hmm. and 98% start smoking by age 26. So, so, so they're wired from a young age right. uh, into adulthood. Right. Exactly. Uh, they're conditioned. They're addicted to smoking. That's yeah, right. But where do they get the, the idea of notion that smoking is good? You, you can see that in television. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Even their parents. Yes. Aunts, relatives, uncles, whatever, relatives, right. they see them smoking. So they, you know, they want to try it. Peer pressure. Exactly. Peer, pressure Peer pressure, you know, right. things like that. You know, because kids, I, you know, kids are stressed too. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it's a lifestyle that um, you can be developed just by beholding others. Influence. That's right. And influence. Right. Exactly. The Bible says by beholding, you, you become changed. changed. Yes. To make sure yes. we have to behold the right things. That's right. And lastly, one fact that was brought up is that one in five adults and teenagers mm -hmm. Smoke. Wow, mm -hmm. it's five of us sitting here at the table. That's so true. But praise mm -hmm. God, we've overcome uh, that. Exactly. Amen. And again, we we spoke about exactly. this earlier. You know, those that smoke, they know that these things cause cause lung cancer, right. pneumonia, mm -hmm. um, tuberculosis, and even some may lose that lung. Like I right. spoke about earlier, yeah. we, we have two lungs, but you know, if you know these things and you take that risk, you you have a risk of losing your lungs. You know, developing and your cancer life. and your life. 
So mm-hmm. we know that you know this, but we just want to lay the foundation right now, you know, ex- especially for this future shows that we're going to have coming up. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And just a few more facts here. More than 20 million Americans have died because of smoking since the year of 1964. Mm-hmm. 20 million. That's a, lot. that's a lot. Not only 20 million Americans have died directly from smoking, 2.5 million deaths have di- have occurred due to secondhand smoke. Secondhand so just smoke. think of it, you know, people are smoking, um, you know, whether they are doing it intentionally and they don't care about their health or right. they're trying to quit and they're dying, right? But also that secondhand smoke, they are killing others as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even the people wow. they love, you have exactly. family. Wow. Exactly, it's a, it's a sad picture. And that's why we are going to talk about how to overcome in our upcoming shows. Yes. So on average, smokers die 13 to 14 years earlier than non-smokers. Mm. And there's a lot of people listening to this who hear this and who've heard it again, and mm. yet they will pick up another cigarette and pull it. Like they want, It's like committing mm. suicide. Right. Mm. And there, But there are some people who want to stop smoking. But one thing that I pray that, listen to this show, that those that may be contemplating picking up a cigarette, maybe mm-hmm. it's a teenager that's listening right now, that, you know, these things will be startling to them and that will avoid them from even picking up a habit right. like such as smoking. Mm-hmm. Exactly, especially being young. You know, I don't want to die before my time. Right. And the Bible brings that point out. It says in Ecclesiastes 7.17, it says, Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? That's mm-hmm. the question it asks. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to die 13 to 14 years earlier than you have to. Mm. We already have a short time here on Earth. Exactly. That just shows the mind state of the people today mm. and the different issues, the stress, and mm. how much we need Jesus Christ in our lives. Mm. That's right. Then it continues. More than 16 million people have at least one disease from smoking, mm. and nearly 9 out of 10 lung cancers are caused by smoking. That's 90%. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, mm. the 10% it, you can probably contribute it to um, secondhand smoking, yep. Yep. <laughs> so smoking altogether. You know, so again, as we're on the, the the theme of looking through the lens of our health manual, the Bible, let's go to another scripture um, and find out whatever prin- what some more principles we can find out from the Bible. Let's go to Genesis two, um, Genesis two and verse seven. I'm gonna read from verse seven, and it says, "And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and listen now, breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. When you smoke, what are you doing?" You're breathing yeah. in those chemicals. And those it's carbon. not life. Yes, it's not breathing. life. Exactly. Exactly. So the Bible's telling us here that God breathed into man the breath of life, as you mentioned, Hope, the breath of life. And so whenever people smoke, they are undoing the work God begun in us when he created. When he created man. They're undoing the work. And, you know, by smoking these byproducts, these chemicals, they are killing themselves. Because mm-hmm. God's plan was never for us to die before our time, exactly. right, Jared? That's exactly. it. In third John two, he says, Beloved, I wish above all else that you what? You prosper. Yeah, mm-hmm. Not yeah. die, yeah. but prosper. prosper. So nope. we have to be careful. We have to be very careful. Exactly. And we spoke mm-hmm. about the carbon dioxide before. That's the waste that comes out of your right. body. Mm-hmm. So the best illustration that I can give you how to show you how cigarettes are killing you, if everyone here or those that are listening could just hold their breath as long as you can. Mm. Now, if you can hold it for at least 10 minutes, but, you know, I doubt you can do that. Mm-hmm. You know, the carbon dioxide is not being expelled. Therefore, you're trapping it inside your body. You know, remember, the carbon dioxide is the waste. Mm-hmm. And when you, you know, trap it inside your body, you will eventually die. That's it. Because you're not having that exchange and, right. and you know, inhaling the fresh air um, and exhaling the carbon dioxide, which mm-hmm. is the waste. And that's the same thing that cigarettes are doing when you inhale, you know, the smoke from the cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Because when you blow that out or puff it out, you're not expelling all of that smoke. It's nope. being trapped inside your body. That's right. Your body. You know, and that, 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 you know, we spoke, we're going to talk about what's in the cigarette you know a little bit later but and, and that's the lie that the world and as the scripture jared read earlier that the enemy comes to kill still and destroy that's the lie that's being fed because even in the bible in genesis 3 verse 4 um the serpent lied to eve right. and, it and he, he said and the and the serpent said unto the woman you shall not surely, surely die, die. Mm-hmm. but god said if you touch this tree if you eat of it you're gonna die same but he said, came yeah. up yeah he came along and said well, you know, not right away. That's, right. What, that's that's what he was saying. So he's saying mm-hmm. the same lie with the cigarettes. And the same lie with, with the cigarettes. You look tobacco, cool. You 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 can fit in. You're young. Right. Mm-hmm. You're young. It helps you release stress. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and do it. You're not gonna die right now. Yeah. Wow. But you're gonna die. So you say you may may die. You may die. Yeah. Right. Just like the the on the on the box of cigarettes, it says Surgeon General war- warning may, may you cause, may cause may. Uh, cancer, yeah. but yeah. it will. 
You know, it, it, it does. It does. It does. It's proven. And some some people may ask like. You guys are saying cigarettes are bad. We hear this. It's in our faces that that ad campaign truth dot com. Mm-hmm. But why are cigarettes legal? I can get them just about anywhere. Right. And what does the Bible have to say about it? Well, the Bible is our health manual, so we can go to First Corinthians six verse twelve. First Corinthians six verse twelve says, "All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient." So, with that being said, the Bible teaches here: just because things are legal or available to you, you may be able to purchase them at your corner store. That does not necessarily mean that it is beneficial for you or it is healthy for you. I love the Word of God. It it, it right. has an answer right. and a cure for everything. everything. Yes, it does. And you know, as uh, we're talking about the lungs. We're talking about smoking. We know that when we breathe in that fresh air, as uh, God did for us in Genesis 2, verse 7, mm-hmm. that it purifies the blood, which we have talked about in previous shows. But when you do the opposite, smoking, breathing in that carbon dioxide mm-hmm. along with the other chemicals, it is impurifying the blood, and that decaying blood is going throughout the body. Mm-hmm. Right. Just because of America's favorite cancer stick, mm-hmm. the cigarette. Mm-hmm. So now... In a cigarette, there are approximately, pay attention to this number now, 600 ingredients in cigarettes. What was that number? 600. That's a lot. Have you ever gone to the supermarket and you pick up a food item and you just see all the different ingredients it has and you're probably like, I'm not going to pick that up. I'm not going to, because there's so much in it. That's not healthy. (laughs) This cigarette has 600 ingredients in it. And that's one. That's not a pack. That's one cigarette. Wow. And some people smoke one pack, five packs a day. Mm -hmm. Now, when you burn it now, when you light it, it releases or it creates 7,000 chemicals. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I don't have anything else to say except, wow, that's a lot. All of that is being filtered in through the lungs. In the lungs. Into the body system. And at least 69 of these chemicals are known to cause cancer. So let's take a look at a few of them. Acetone, which is found in nail polish remover. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you ever go by those... uh, Nail shops, that smell. smell. I can't stay there long, personally. Mm -hmm. Arsenic, used in rat poison. Mm -hmm. Then you have formaldehyde, which is embalming Embalming fluid fluid. for the dead. Mm -hmm. You're putting death into your body. Mm -hmm. Methanol, a main component in rocket fuel. Right? Mm -hmm. Lead, it's used in batteries. Naphthalene, an ingredient in mothballs. And listen to this one. They have tar in it. You know the thing they used to pave the the roads? Right. That's what you're smoking. And the smell of tar is, yes. is very, very loud. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you're driving down the street on I-4, because mm-hmm. they're always doing construction, most people have their windows rolled up because they can't take that smell. But, sometimes you can still smell it. Yeah, but yeah. you're inhaling it into your oh, lungs. Wow. And as you inhale that tar, it lines the arteries now mm-hmm. and clogs it. Then you have high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. develop conditions such as atherosclerosis, mm-hmm. um, diabetes, diabetes. Mm-hmm arteriosclerosis and so on the list goes on right right and then if you know notice like when we travel we go to the hotel rooms um you can tell even though you got a non-smoking room you can tell when someone yep. has been in it has smoked a cigarette broke the rules or and have yeah broke the rules mm-hmm. or even a rental car um there's no way you can get rid of that odor i mean it's loud and you know a smoker sometimes you you know you're riding down the road you see him with the hand out the window right. mm-hmm. you know um trying to not get the cigarette smoke on him but it clings to the body your hair your skin it's gonna come out your pores it's, it's gonna come out your, your pores and another point to consider is that secondhand smoke is more harmful than cigarettes itself you know secondhand mm-hmm. smoke is a combination of the smoke from the burning end of the cigarette and the smoke breathed out by the smoker. So mm-hmm. that kills as well. Can you imagine all of these young children, babies, mm-hmm. yeah. and their parents or their relatives that smoke? Even babysitters. You leave your, oh, your so children true. with people who have these habits as well. Right. And, okay, I'm, I, well, I don't blow it into the child's face. They're sitting next to me. The, the air goes forward. That air circulates in the room. It gets mm-hmm. into your um, furniture. It's mm-hmm. in, your, in your clothes. You mm-hmm. know? You're, we're killing people. I mean, if you want to kill yourself, that's one thing. But we have to be careful not to... You know, um, be take, mindful of others. Yeah, we have right. to be mindful of others. And uh, we have an audio clip um, from the show called The Doctors. And we don't advocate everything that they, they teach or mm-hmm. talk about, but we just want to play this clip and hear what they say about smoking cigarettes. But what happens when you take a puff of a cigarette? Just one puff. As you inhale all that smoke, you're inhaling 7,000 chemicals. 200 plus known carcinogens, hydrogen cyanide, carbon monoxide, ammonia amongst others. 
but it doesn't just affect your lungs. Every puff of a cigarette is causing your heart to beat faster, your blood pressure to go up. It affects every single organ system in your body. If you didn't think so, smoking even can cause you to get bladder cancer. Wow. That's bladder cancer? That's what we were just talked about. Wow. So bladder cancer, every puff affects your body in some every type of organ. way. Every organ. Yeah, every organ. Yeah, every organ. We spoke about the, the heart. Together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. We spoke about the heart earlier, and it increases your heart rate. Every and you know what? It, it's interesting that it's legal, but heroin isn't legal. Um, mm. Marijuana isn't legal. That's but right. you can get this it's stick. A, it's a gateway drug. It's a gateway word. drug, yeah. and, it and, and it can kill you. It can kill you, and, and it's costly. Um, on an average, a pack of cigarettes is $6.30 per pack. And okay. if you have a pack a day habit, that's over twenty three hundred dollars a year. Well, if wow. you have five packs a day, that's you can times that mm -hmm. by five. Yeah, you yes. do the math. <laughs> that's gonna be savings. Wow. Wow, wow, so wow. what about the, the 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 thing now is e cigarettes or vape vapor cigarettes? Because uh, if you drive around town, you're gonna mm -hmm. see these vapor shops popping up in prominent shopping centers. Yeah. It is not in the you know in just the hooded areas, but they are in prominent shopping centers. Right. What's, what's going on with that? Well, you know, according to the FDA, e-cigarettes, or as it's called, um, e-pens or e-pipes or even e-hookah, are essentially devices that allow users to inhale an aerosol containing nicotine or other substances. So it's a quote-unquote cool way to smoke. Mm. Mm. However, in essence, you're just, you're, it's a cool way to smoke, but you're still inhaling those harmful carcinogens, carcinogens those harmful right. chemicals into your body into your body that's that in essence what um a these e um, vapes are it's wow. just a cool way to smoke so it's you not know? helping someone to stop smoking it's not it's it's, you're still smoking you just i'm not using the pack it's not using the pack okay, it's, not, I'm, I'm, okay. it's, just, it's just a medium um that again satan uses mm -hmm. to attract the young people now right because this, this is very cool, popular among the young people very very much so and it, again it's legal it's legal so you can you know? go into a shop and sit around a table and I think and it's oh, called yeah, they have they have they have mm -hmm. um these what, hookah bars hookah or bars, hookah oh, bars yes. right? right you go there and you just Strawberry vape and vape and, and, yeah mm -hmm. yeah a whole bar and, which is harmful know, the whole place is filled with the the, the smoke and the chemicals so if and you go in there you're gonna catch some sort of disease and a lot of times these e-cigarettes cause issues especially on the airplane i remember last year and i think even most recently but i know definitely last year on american airlines one of them malfunctioned and started a fire and there had to be an emergency landing so wow. it's killing your body and it can also potentially kill others yeah but smokers already know this stuff mm -hmm. but we just again just reiterating for those that may not know but we just want to you know stress the, the importance of taking care of your body and um, you know that we're talking again about smoking today and the harmful effects on the bi body. Let's go back to the Bible. First Corinthians six nineteen and 20 says, What? Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body, in your spirit, which are God's. Mm. I, we don't belong to ourselves, and mm. neither does our bodies. God gave it to us. He gave us the breath of life, as Jared shared with us earlier. So we have to take care of these bodies. And if we are not allowing the spirit of God to live in, in us, if we're inhaling these cigarettes with this poison chemicals, it's not God's spirit. It mm -hmm. only can be the spirit of the devil and going along with that the bible further says in first corinthians 10 verse 31 whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do do all to the glory of god mm. so if it's not glorifying god by his grace through his power he gives us the power not to do these things amen That's right amen. now giving up smoking is not an easy thing to do you know and one thing i know is that god is faithful you know, despite whatever it is that you're going through, as we submit to him, he will in return give us the willpower and the strength needed to have victory over these bad habits because smoking is killing so many people and it doesn't have to be you. You know, we have all been given a choice and God did it for me because I used to smoke. And he did it for me. That's right. And if he can do it for us, guess what? He can and do he it, can for, do you it for you too. Amen. Sure 
And, you know, we just wanted to leave you with that encouragement that God can do anything. He has done it for us. Mm -hmm. And he will definitely do it for you. All you have to do is ask. And because there is no other way to live these eight steps to health without God's help, we're going to teach you a new encouragement song today. And it's coming from 1 John 5, 4. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Even our faith. Even our faith. And this is the victory. First John 5, 4. Even our faith. Even our faith. Even our faith. Um, and we hope you've enjoyed the new scripture song from 1 John 5, 4. And we have a couple of more minutes. We're going to sing that one more time, a little slower, mm-hmm. so that our listeners can be able to learn that. Amen. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Even our faith. Even our faith. And this is the victory. First John 5, 4. Even our faith. Even our faith. Praise God for that song. And we pray that you are encouraged today. And those of you who are just about to pick up that cigarette, sing. First John 5, 4. Be encouraged. You already have the victory in Amen. Jesus. Right. And next week, we're going to discuss how to quit smoking naturally. We, we're not talking about with a patch, or the gum. With, with the gum, Nothing. or anything, but God's simple methods of healing. Amen. You don't want to miss that show. You don't want to miss it. And coming up in the very near future, in the next few months, we're actually going to have a practical health seminar at our building to teach you how to do some practical natural remedies mm-hmm. to help you to stop smoking. Mm-hmm. And remember, our theme here on the eight steps to health is an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure and don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter instagram and our website eight steps to health.com that's the number eight steps the number two health.com all right orlando thank you for joining us we'll talk to you next week god bless